of the world. John Wertheim. Yeah. And then we've got the Grand Slam champion, former world number six, Chanda Rubin. Good morning, everybody. Day nine, New York, U.S. Open. Uh, Chanda, Rafa losing his first major match of the year and big foe with the biggest win of his life. Uh, it was just fantastic. I was actually in the crowd um, the last set and a half or so, and it was amazing. The atmosphere, everybody behind Tiafo, and of course Nadal. I mean, he's always a fan favorite, but there was just something special about the moment, and it's almost like you could sense it if you were sitting in the stands. Francis Tiafo was so impressive. There were times where, in the past, we maybe didn't quite believe he could win this kind of battle. But down the stretch in this match, the forehand, the returns of serve, the court coverage, and his aggressive abilities up at the net, it was just impressive. It was a comprehensive effort. And at the end, he kind of smothered it all. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we have big upsets like this, and we often play this sort of balancing act. How much was it the favorite sort of had, had sand in the gears, and how much of it was a great effort by the challenger? And I, I think you're right, Chad. I mean, the way Francis closed that out. I mean, a few days ago, he sort of said and it was very, you know, he did a very dignified way, but he said, you know, bring it on. I'm ready for Nadal, and he played like it. And I thought what was most impressive to me, it was Francis looked like a guy who's 10 years younger than the guy on the other side of the net, but the closeout was really what was most impressive for me. It was good stuff. Youngest American man to reach the quarterfinals at the U.S. Open since Andy Roddick, and that had everybody chiming in. How about this? LeBron James, Paul said, congrats, young king. And Francis was so geeked about this. He said he wanted to seem a little cooler before he retweeted it, so he <laughs> waited a few hours. Didn't do it right away, but he saw it instantly. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he did. Coco chiming in and Andy Roddick as well. Look, you don't beat someone like Rafa Nadal on that stage in New York City and not have the world notice. It's amazing, and it's just an incredible performance by Francis. Look, Rafa Nadal is one of the best we've ever seen at finding ways to figure out how to win. And after the second set, that was a gut check for Francis, and Francis responded so well. That was really impressive.